It was one versus two in double-A girls hoops as O'Gorman and Rapid City Stevens squared off. Opening quarter, OG gets the ball to Isabel Moore. She'll drive baseline and finish off the glass for two of her 14. Timeout Raiders, the Knights taking early eight-point lead. Head to the second quarter after trailing by as many as 12. The Raiders battle back. Bailey Sobzak catches and connects for two. Stevens trailed 24-20 at the half. Then head to the third quarter off the inbounds play. Stevens gets the ball back to Grace Ellis. She'll get the two-point jumper to drop, and that evens the game up at 24 points apiece. But back the other way come the Knights as they'll work it to Emma Ronzik, and she'll answer back with the three from the top of the key to put OG up three. She led all scores with 18. O'Gorman pulls away for the 58-40 win over Stevens. The O'Gorman and Stevens boys took to the court following the girls' game. Pick it up in the fourth quarter. Knights leading by seven. Cade Moffitt slips a pass into Okoye Okoye, who puts away two of his 12 points. That pushes the O'Gorman lead to nine at 42 to 33. A couple possessions later, the Raiders cut into the lead as Colton Hartford finds Daniel Vagoran cut into the hoop. He'll finish high off the window for the bucket, and the Raiders are down six. After Stevens had cut the deficit to two, O'Gorman responds as Jack Cartwright drives. He'll get the runner to fall to put O'Gorman up four. He had 13 points, and the Knights hold on for the 50-47 victory over the Raiders. Another boys' hoops matchup pitting Rapid City Central against Roosevelt. Riders get out in transition as Jackson McCormick gathers, rises up, and knocks down the triple. Then shortly following the made three, McCormick going to come up with the steal, and he'll lay in two more as that gives the Riders an early 5-1 advantage. Then later in the first, more from the home team is Tyler Feldkamp. Let's it fly from deep. They'll find the bottom of the net for three as that puts the home team up 12 to three. Then under a minute to go in the opening quarter, Central's Jace Oldham comes around a screen. He'll then spot Tegan Wells, who tickles the twine for three. But the Rough Riders prevail in this one, 64-58 over Rapid City Central.